Hey there everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire. We are here, we are finally here, standing in front of the 8th gym leader of the game. We're here in Tutopolis Gym for the biggest battle you'll see, well, until the Elite Four anyway. Just before we take on this mammoth task, I'm doing a bit of item switching. As this is a water gym leader, Swampert and Ludicolo will now have the Soft Sand and Miracle Seed respectively. This will raise the Earthquake uh, for Swampert and Bullet Seed for Ludicolo. Obviously, uh, Bullet Seed will actually be helpful here because the Grass type is strong against the Water type. But just a couple of last minute checks, is Swellow in the lead? He certainly is because I want him to lead. Let's get it on. Allow me to formally introduce myself. I am Wallace, the gym leader of Sutopolis. Oh, thank God for that. I thought I was in the wrong place for a second there. I thought I was on a ship somewhere with your, your little setup, your little sailor's boy suit. Oh, it's, it's darling, I be believe me. <laughs> he does look a bit strange, but hey, he's one hell of a Pokemon battler. And he's got quite a good team, a very professional team. All five of his Pokemon are uber strong. <laughs> I'm kidding, because he's got a love disc. <laughs> Love this, really? Oh dear, God. I keep wanting to say, uh, sing Love Shack when I say Love Disc for some reason. How <laughs> crazy. But anyway, we fly on Love Disc and it actually survives. It actually does pretty well and it actually does pretty well with its moves as well. Love Disc hits us with a tract which is going to pain. It's going to pain me now because. I hate attract, it always goes wrong because as I use quick attack, can I fight through the love? No sorry Bob, I can't. Swallow and Love Disc are getting it on all over the place. Love Disc hits the sweet kiss, confusion now. So now my Swallow has to fight through both confusion and love. Not happening, don't care for it. So I'm going to bring my other lady in, my Lady Ludicolo. Lady Ludicolo is going to slap some sense into this sucker. We get hit by water pulse, it's not going to do any damage and it's also not going to confuse us as well because we're actually being quite lucky here. We do get hit by Sweet Kiss though and that will confuse us. So now my Ludicolo, who has just been kissed by another lady but she loves it because she swings that way gets hit. She's going to hurt herself in confusion. God damn it, this is not going well. How can we be beat by a love disc? This is not good. Come on, Luddy Colo, I believe. Get it on, girl. Come on, fight through the confusion. And we do. We get the bullet seed. But do we have enough? Wow, wow, what do we need? We need a fourther. A threefer? I, I, I reckon fourther. Come on, come on, get threefer. Threefer, at least. Threefer, come on. Yes! Three hits. Boom, baby, Lady Curlo takes the first Pokemon down. If we're having trouble with Love Disc, believe me, we'll have trouble with the rest. <laughs> we're going to take ourselves a, a new Pokemon now. A new Pokemon for this game anyway. This is Whiskash, the evolved form of Barboach and Ground and Water type Pokemon. And luckily, we escaped the confusion, so we do get to use the Bullet Seed. This will be times four. Now, Whiskash is quite defensive. He's got a pretty good HP stat and an okay defense stat so he's not going to take too much damage but it does help us out here. It uses Rain Dance. Now one of the advantages of Rain Dance apart from raising our water type moves power and lowering fire types move power is it actually works with Bloody Colo's ability, Swift Swim. Swift Swim will double our speed under the rain condition. So now Bloody Colo is super quick. We're getting it on quick style, guys. And with the death of Whiskast from a second bullet seed, we should get the level up easily. Level 38. Oh, it's serious now. The crowd in Sutopolis are going wild for this battle. They're all cheering for Dan, believe me. <laughs> we see another new Pokemon. This is Celio, the middle evolution of the Spiel lineage and it is an ice and water type Pokemon so if you've got fighting type Pokemon that is a good choice as well because ice is weak to fighting however we've got the grass type move and we get a critical hit on the first one which will help us a lot believe me we take about half damage on the free fur indeed we do we still need to take Celio out though because it's potentially very dangerous it uses Aurora Beam a 65 base ice type move with a 10% chance of lowering our physical attack we don't care about that we're neutral to the ice beam sure we can well, Aurora Beam, because it's a nice type move, grass is weak, water is not, however, we take it because we're, we're pretty good special defensively anyway. We are almost killed Celio, it uses Aurora Beam again, will it get the 10% attack lower? It doesn't really matter, because I don't really use my attack stat, I'm only, I'm only really using my special stat here, so it is all good. A third bullet seed should take down Celio, though, with any luck. 
Tifa should do it, surely. Yeah, Celio is down. Another critical hit, and Lady Curl is riding. Nice one, Lady Lady Curl. I've got to love you. Anyway, the Pokemon only get harder from here. I think this is his actually, actually his hardest Pokemon. Indeed, it is. The mighty Militech. Militech is the evolved form of Phoebus and is incredibly hard to attain in this game anyway. It's, it's a little bit easier in the later games, but in this game especially, very difficult. It uses Ice Beam, very strong move, and that will kill Ludicolo. I shed a tear, but she knows that she did well. Now, what I need to do is prep damage, but instead of actually doing prep damage straight away, what I'm going to do is use Scary Face. Why? Because this will lower Mil Militech's speed. She's not, she's not amazingly quick. But she is potentially quicker than Swampert, and I don't want that, so I'm gonna scurry face her. And I think I do it, no, I think I do it once, and then I start getting prep damage on her. I start using strength, do I? In, uh, uh, yes, I do. I'm gonna start using strength, and this means that when I use Earthquake on Swampert, we have a better chance of one hit KOing. Let's hope Sharpedo survives so we can get another strength on. We do we get 5 HP, so that means we can do strength again, and that means that Militic has lost a lot of damage already. Water Pulse will kill Sharpedo, though, and I still Salute you, Sharpedo. You've been a great Pokemon. God, see, that is the bonus of sacrificial Pokemon. Sometimes you can just help like that. But now I bring in my powerhouse. This Pokemon needs to go down because it's a toughie. We're going to use Earthquake, of course. And we go faster. I don't know whether we would have went faster anyway because we're at level down. And Swampert's pretty slow. However, that uh, scary face helps a lot. It does use Recover. It would cover 50% of his HP back, which sucks. We use Earthquake. We need to get it down. And this is a bit of a stall war if it survives and of course it does survive with a little bit. It's a stall war because they're recovering. I'm earthquaking. Recover. Earthquake. Recover. Earthquake. It does get very dull. I've, I've played many people at Pokemon and stall wars happen all the time. It's hard to break out of them but fortunately Swampert does get the upper hand in that last earthquake. Punches Militech right in the face and we get a bunch of experience. As the final Pokemon comes out it is the epic Sea King and unfortunately for Wallace Sea King can't really do very much to swamp her. Water, any water move that he has is a neutral hit. It, in fact, no, it will not survive the earthquake. I thought it survived it, but a critical hit will end it. We get the level up. Boom. It is all good. God damn it, that was easy. Oh. Wallace is sometimes very difficult, but we had the proper Pokemon there. We had the proper defenses. All we needed to do was apply the offense, and we got it straight away. So, well done, guys. I'm so happy about that. But from Wallace, we do get ourselves the rain badge, the eighth badge, the final badge of the game. And that makes me so happy around about now. But what does it do, you ask? This badge will make sure that any Pokemon will obey any command. Also, we are allowed to use a HM Waterfall outside of battle. Finally, we do get a TM, and it's a move that you already know of. This is is Water Pulse. For any of you who weren't listening before, Water Pulse base 60 water type move with a 20% chance of confusion. It's okay, kinda. Some Pokemon can use it as a desperation water type move. Some Pokemon just don't learn water type moves, but they may learn one like, wa uh, like Water Pulse. You know, you can give it Water Pulse and that will give them a water type option. So it, it's okay. The confusion rate is quite nice if it actually works, but it, more often than not, it's not going to work. So I would stick with Surf. It's much more powerful, or even Muddy Water if you have a Swampert. Don't really bother with Water Pulse unless you feel real lucky with the confusion rate. Whew. Right, wow, I'm glad we're in a, an icy Pokemon gym because I am, um, that was just intense that, I'm feeling excited, I need to chill down in that gym some more, but actually we need to heal up, and we actually need to do a bit of loose end tying indeed, because there are some TMs out there that still need to be uh, gotten by us, because first of all there is a move that Ludicolo needs to learn, we've been with Bullet Seed for such a long time now, it feels like part of the furniture don't you think, it's, it's, it's just just, you know, we've had it for so long, we've been using it all the time, it's just what we need, however, we need to change it up, we need a more powerful grass type move, and I'm just trying to find out which route it's actually on, and I think it's on route 1, 2, 3, just on that corner there. Now, I'd never got this TM before in any of my playthroughs, in all of my practices, I had to research this, I had to uh, go on a website and say, ooh, where is this move, and it was on Route 123, and I didn't even know where Route 123 was, I don't think anyone would know, unless he actually looked at a map. Route 123 is south of Mount Pyre, and this certain type move is a grass type move, it's a more powerful move, um, 
called Giga Drain, and let's hope, hopefully, we'll be able to get it in this episode. However, we did have a couple of problems getting it, believe me. Not only did we get stopped by Shuppets, which I should have killed, because Swallow were probably leveled up there, we also had a couple more issues, but you'll see that when we actually get there. But guys, finally, we've got all eight badges. We've got the eighth badge. That means we can, we can now take the Elite Four challenge. You remember, if you've played any other Pokemon game, you know, you take on the Elite Four, then you take on the Champion. You need all eight badges to take on the Elite Four, the four best trainers in the game, and then the Elite Four Champion, which is the last person to defeat the Elite Four. That is our goal. We've been a postman, guys. We've been a superhero. We have saved the world. We have delivered things to everywhere. And now we can finally become a Pokemon Master. Hopefully. But as I said, we still need to do a bit of tidying up, a bit of clearing up here. Now, what you need to do in order to get this grass type move is actually very simple. You come down here and I go to my right. Well, I'll, I can't actually show you from here because I've actually gone the wrong way. But here, I'm actually looking for it. If you go down, you see a rare candy. But if you go up, oh dear, we got a trainer. Being a psychic is about willpower. Oh great, we're going to take on a crazy psychic with the crazy hair. God love him. He doesn't even, oh he does have glowy hands. He has glowy green hands, unlike Samantha with a glow purple ones or that copier in the other gym <laughs> we are going to use quick attack and to my surprise bang quick attack one hit KO no crit beautiful swallow god love you I love you man you're a cool epic Pokemon who I adore but now we take on Sol Rock and I thought to myself why didn't I take it on with Steel Wing I've not used Steel Wing yet it's just been there I've not used it at all but hey I, I, I obviously didn't feel too confident and plus I wanted to get Ludicolo in she's getting under levels here she's only level 38 I'd rather her be in the 40s before we take on the Elite Four so I'll be working on that believe me I need to on. Bloody Curler will be a prime Pokemon. That triple threat, the ice, the grass, the, the water type move is so important for the Elite Four. But if you come down here, as I said, you will get a very good item and that item is a rare candy. For those of you who don't know, you should know by now because I've said it plenty of times, a rare candy will give you a free level up. And in a playthrough like this, in a Let's Play, they are ever so handy. So let's use it. Who do I use it on? I can't even remember. I use it on Swallow. Oh, I, thought, I thought I'd use it on Bloody Curler. Well, I've used it on Swallow anyway, but now he's level 40, so now he's strong enough. Now, do you see the lady there? If you talk to that lady and you have a Grass-type Pokemon in your possession, she will give you the TM Giga Drain. I didn't know this. I didn't research enough. All I researched uh, was... Oh, I whistled, and that was nasty, wasn't it? <laughs> All I researched was that... Um, where the route was. And I, I found the right route. But I couldn't find a TM. I didn't know where it was. I get an elixir, which will cure or, um, our PP for one move totally. So, you know, total recovery of PP on one move. But I didn't know where this item was. So I was tumbling around all in the grass. And, you know, I found a Lanoon, which is a normal type Pokemon, the evolved form of Zigzagoon. And I didn't know where it was, and it was a pain in the ass because I hate not knowing where things are. And I know it's my fault for not properly researching, but I just thought it would be in plain sight. I thought it would be easy to find. But we do take on this trainer, I think. Indeed we do. You seem to have a big collection of gym badges. Let me see if you're actually worthy of those badges. Well, I've gone through... 37 episodes of a Pokemon game, I should be pretty darn worthy, Clyde. Clyde has got five Pokemon, and this will actually take us to the end of the episode. He's got himself a Swellow, we use Quick Attack, and it doesn't actually kill, unfortunately, which uh, makes me sad. Bad Swellow. But all it does, the other Swellow, just uses Focus Energy. It will raise his critical hit ratio, but unfortunately, we raised his dead ratio. <laughs> I'm so witty. We find ourselves facing a Whaleman now, and you know the story with Whaleman. I'm just going to use Quick Attack though. Quick Attack should, yeah, Quick Attack does more than enough damage. Yeah, a Fly would probably do more damage, in fact it would do, however, I'm going to go up and then I go down and go up and then I go down and uh, all that animation just wastes far too much time. So Quick Attack is a Quick Attack, so we might as well just use it. Again, I'm trying to get through this battle quickly, so I bring in Swampert. Magneton is a Steel and Electric type Pokemon, the evolved form of uh, Magnemite. So Earthquake is a times 4 hit, bang, it should kill it in one. No question, no doubt it can't survive that. Even if it was level 100, it probably wouldn't. 
Although I don't know about that one. I don't. That's not a. That's not a definite. Believe me. Get a bit more experience, which is always uh, welcome. And what's the next Pokemon? I didn't actually see it. It went. It went past me too quickly. We bring in Luddy Curlo anyway, because she's just so gosh darn sexy. And we get to face a Shift Tree. Wow. Shift Tree is the evolved form of Nuzleaf and uh, Sea Dot, which is a dark and grass type Pokemon. A strange combination. Very weak to bug. Weak to fighting. Weak to fire. Not very good. But anyway, as we take on the final Pokemon, I am actually out of time. So I'm just going to let this play off as we see a Trapinch, a Ground-type Pokemon who evolves into a Ground and Dragon-type Pokemon. I am definitely out of time. So, our adventure continues. We explore the world next time on Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire. See you later, guys.